Hello everybody, welcome to Cathode Ray Transmission, the show that um, is just 20 years too late, but we're doing it anyway. And with yeah. me is my co-host Lauren, who is the original creator of the Cathode Ray Transmissions, who has passed it along to me to do whatever the fuck I want with it, and we're doing this with it, with him, them, all of these. It's a, uh, like a reunion. It's like it's a reunion, like a, yes. uh, What is it? It's like almost a 10-year reunion. No. For, not for, for, I mean, after, I'm, after I left. No, no. We, left, no, no. No, 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 no. It has not been 10 years since we last. No, it has not, actually. Nine. We been, had our falling out in 2018, fall. very specifically, I remember. On, on, I don't think I... I think I'm saying I, I left I left hosting, though. Know. For me, it's been almost nine years since I hosted it. Or really, because like, you were was, hosting was it when I was there, it. and that was in 2018. It was been ten years since, since 2018. Somebody might have probably given it up again, and I might have emergency took it over at one point. I might have jumped in for a little bit. All maybe. I remember is like near the end what? of it. I, I was there at the end when we we did our last streams. I can't even remember yeah, why it stopped it happening. Was just, Oh God! It was just multitudes of issues. Like one of our guy, one of the guys had like a uh, a Confederate flag up in the background. Holy and his roommate shit. would scream obscenities, really inappropriate who stuff. Who was that? Randomly, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna blast anybody. No, you gotta that, DM that shit. To me. I gotta situation. know who that was. Oh yeah, I will. I will. But also, it was like other stuff that just was going on behind the scenes where people were being just really disrespectful for no reason when we were we we're trying to build like a weird community Hello and people weird. were like being yeah. judge, judgy i kept trying to talk to people after the podcast and be like hey let's suss this out and was i inappropriate or why did that go kabooey or what was what was so why did that one go so well what was that why was that one the funniest or what right. or what's going on with you are you having an issue or or how am I doing? Like, be be critical. I would always bring somebody aside, each person from the podcast individually, a except you. Like, I was like, let's just team up and do something else. Remember that? Yeah. The first thing was that like, wasn't ten years ago. Though. That thing. was only in twenty eighteen. No, that wasn't. Yeah. yeah, that was definitely twenty eighteen. Yeah. yeah. And it wasn't really falling out as I just left the internet for a while. Well, I there was a falling out between me and the other something. people because I was a prick still. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. I, but I, I stuck around with you on Facebook. Yeah. I kind of followed your journey. I was a lurker. There was I kind of always maybe was someone a in our midst uh, who maybe is quite popular now and who is maybe potentially talking shit about me behind my back. Multiple people. They were they were just. It they was like very me. bizarre. They were playing this. Well, they were trying to play this <laughs> mini power game in a universe that where that none of that mattered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, they kept missing the point like, guys, you're of on the internet, code which made point? transmissions. Right, it was like a free-floating podcast in which geeks that are into cinema and especially physical media, which, ironically, matters now more than it did then. And we were like, we're the only ones really that understand what's going on behind the scenes. But now it's everywhere. Yeah, you everywhere. know everything going on behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know everything now. Mm -hmm. And back then, we were trying to figure it out. And we kept blasting companies to be like, give us more. Give us mm -hmm. these specific releases. We're talking to the people that are like us. And and I would get feedback from a few distributors over over time. And I was like, I'm like you released that. I begged for that. I, I pushed that on our stupid uh, Google chat. <laughs> and they were like, that was a thing still and i'm like well years ago and and i wanted it to transform you know i, I was hoping everyone would do their own cathode ray transmission podcast that was my dream really but but they didn't know no one could do do it without um pulling in their their personal um I sort mean, of i'm not free of demons. being someone who's trying to put did some personal shit in my show your camera's not on still by the way I tried. It, it's it's not giving me the option. It just gives me the volume button. Uh, Is that interesting? When I press on myself, I think if you drag, if yeah. you're on phone, you have to drag up from the bottom to turn, pull up your controls or something. Yeah, it just says voice settings, and yeah. that's it. 
add a note, mute, and that's about it. Hmm. Well, isn't it strange? It's, oh, also, it's all right apparently for now. my, oh, I, uh, I gotta figure out this. There's like a little, okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna, eh, one second. I, we're still like setting everything up. Uh, where's, where's this? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, no one can hear you. One second. One second, no one can hear you. Uh, how do I... How do I get you seen? I think if I just do this. Okay, now you should be able to say something? I'm here. Repeat I'm still yourself. here. Okay, say what you said. I am, I'm here. Oh, yeah, well... The, it's not really that important. <laughs> what I can say is... It was a really hard thing to do, and it was fun, but it became more hard than fun, not because of me. <laughs> I just want to put that out there. Like I never gave up on anyone mm -hmm. until they pushed me to the point where I was like, all right, now you're just being an insulting asshole, and you're no worse than an enemy of mine. I don't well, understand I just, why like, I'm I don't know why everyone had such an animosity. You wouldn't like that at all. Like, I know, I'm just like, well, I was I was a different kind of asshole. I was very boisterous and pushy. We got along, I thought. And Even I was, when we yeah, thought, we still we got along. along. It's not the point. The point is, like, the other people didn't get along with that kind of energy. You know? It was. It wasn't even that. It was just that I think other people had agendas, and I didn't. Mine was out there for everyone to see. I broadcast weekly it was awful and it was totally repetitive and i knew it was annoying at times <laughs> and i was like there's nothing else i have no other agenda and all of you seem to have these ulterior motives which were bizarre to me like for a while like i had to keep asking other people why, why the fuck is this going on like, what the <laughs> fuck is happening and you were one of those people i was like and you were like Oh, they're just immature. They're just, they don't know how to be grown ups towards other humans. I didn't know either, to be fair. Pretty profound shit. Yeah, but it was, there were moments where, like, <laughs> they would just purposely say things that they knew I would be like, you, sh you shouldn't say that around me. And it was like they were like, we like to trigger Lauren. Lauren has all I, these really weird I did, triggers, and we like okay. to poke him. Now, in all fairness, they would say things that would get you riled up into rant mode, and that was entertaining for the rest of us. But from the, in the but the new perspective that was actually stressful for you—that it's not as funny anymore in second in, re, in reflective light, you know. Well, funny in the yeah, fact no, that I, you, I, you, I had fun. But like, it's funny in the sense that like when you get fun. your friend like on that one rant that he always does, yeah. you know, it's just like it's one of those kind of things. That's all. I like no, I I liked. It was more of just the, how they were like. After a while, it was like the same, thing. and I was like, if we could have an inside joke, like Lauren likes Rob Zombies, let's have an inside joke where we make fun of them, but in a creative way. Instead, it was like a pile on, and it was weird. And after a while, I was like, yeah, you guys, I'm not ranting though. I'm just getting quiet and defensive, right. and I feel like my opinion isn't important at all because somehow it's been negated by one single aesthetic the choice of mine personally that negates all my other knowledge opinion things i care about things that i care about with other people's collections that was what i loved is watching people harbor these affectionate affairs with their physical items in their life and it was like <laughs> ASMR before there was that. They would touch the packaging. It would crinkle it open and <laughs> open the packaging. And it was way before everything else took off on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. Any of that stuff. It was we were and our stuff was a podcast like like they did during lockdown. I watched multiple, multiple podcasts during lockdown where I'm like, this is the format we have. Yeah. And the audio shit. And everybody's talking over each other, and uh, everybody's tense like I was, and everybody's miserable like I was trying to stop people from being. <laughs> I was being this little cheerleader, you know. But I was super critical of companies like that that we were pouring our little bit of money that we had 
our tiny disposable incomes. Well, we gave, we bought Porsches <laughs> for, for you know people like Cliff at, who left Sp- Shout Studios, uh, so he could you know take his money and run off into the hills. Look, okay, look, 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 look. I'm not here to criticize Cliff. I definitely, um, I definitely, he definitely um, got Screen Factory down to follow me. They were we were mutual, yeah. uh, mutual to look at Screen Factory account, and it was that in that era when we were doing the podcast, and I was just on. T- I was like, "Why are you releasing releases that not without a trailer, without a commentary, we so without the most them. basic of fucking features, no subtitles?" You know, <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> that, and and that, look, we look, 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 Cliff fucking turned and turned tail and did not listen. He just went, "Yeah, whatever, it's nonsense." Kano Lober listened. Who? Where's Kano Lober doing right now? They're yes. one of the biggest companies right now. Really, the most the, releases the with subtitles and trailers and commentaries. What the fuck was I saying? Absolutely. The whole fucking time. Yes. Absolutely. And you know what? I was ashamed they about it, but I was right. You know. They reached out to me in a DM, and they yeah. were one of the distributors. That said, "Hey, we're yeah. trying this stuff that you're talking about. We we've seen the link you sent us. We've seen what you said. We hear what you're posting and what you're saying. We are gonna do this." We're going to do it. And then Burnt Offerings was one of the first releases they sent me a copy of for review on Cathode Ray. And I was like, it was one of the first ever Kikinos I got as a review copy. Burnt Offerings. I'll never forget it. I had that and release, like, actually. And I'm like, wow, this is so... They were like, they were like you're going to criticize this, huh? Here's here's something so loaded, it'll take you months to get through all the extra features on it. Well, are there <laughs> so actually, I didn't know if there were even special features on that release. I mean, I get Kino Little no, Lovers for type movies I want, and I know that there's going to be some special features, you know? So it's like, I, can't I wonder trust if they'll it. release that on 4K. Now that we've put that out there, Val, I wonder if they'll release it in 4K. Now that we've put, like, Burn Offering should now be coming out in 4K. I'm so a controversial lady who, who still doesn't buy Blu ray. I mean, 4K, I mean, because I don't, I don't, I don't care. Only if, like, I, I like to, if they put new extra features, mm. and I know it is an upgrade. Because I watch a lot if of Blu-rays upgrade, now. If it's an like, upgrade with special features, I'll, I'm more likely to buy it. Uh, yeah, just because like, I'm a for special features. features so. Yeah, and when they upgrade them, sometimes sometimes they'll say things like, the old Blu-ray, you'll notice we had like a disclaimer. And I'm like, oh yeah, you did. It said like, we did our best before the movie plays. It's like, we did our best. And like, I'm like, oh my gosh, a bunch of companies did this on Blu-ray and then I'm going through my collection now. Because I'm purging like you did. I mean, I took cut out a thousand movies. In those last it's amazing. Months. It was very hard. Awesome. I literally sat on the floor in my living room, in my hallway, where all my shelves are, and just sat there with really uh-huh. the Am I gonna rewatch this? Does this make me happy oh to God. have this in my hands? And I, and I cut a thousand movies out. And I still have a good two, three hundred movies that are in a giant pile of unwatched stuff that I had no right? idea if I liked. Yeah. And I, and just that's, things I that, call that like, a pile of shame. And to be clear, I don't buy a lot of movies <laughs> I haven't seen outside of box sets because usually I buy a box set for like one or two movies, and the rest are like just. Oh, there's more to get through. Sometimes. But like, um, but like, uh, uh I, I don't. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, I don't buy a lot of blind buys anymore because I just I don't have room. And I don't have the money. Oh yeah. <laughs> when yeah. We we're doing cathode ray transmission, I had. Do? When we we're doing cathode tra- transmission, I didn't have rent or bills like I do now. Like. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So imagine. I was able to spend, like, hundreds of dollars every month on Blu-rays, which is how I got to where I was I'm so, at. I'm so proud of you, Val, for where you're at. I just want to say that. I mean, I still have a fucking massive movies. collection of over 2,000 movies, all right? So, like... Yeah, but, you know, you got a, you got a cool place I mean, nothing now. valuable. Got... I, don't, I don't have, like, anything valuable because it's mostly just, like, whatever stuff. It's just shit that makes me happy. Uh, I have a couple of rare copies, rare releases. That's about it. I mean, if if you're backing everything up to hard drives nowadays, like I most don't humans do that, are, they're smart. I don't have like, a drive. Smart, that can I mean, back right, back right. Like these are some titles I got right, recently. Yeah, sure. These are stuff I got recently since uh, mid last year when I stopped kind of like really buying so much. A couple box sets, as you'll notice. And actually, there was another box set I forgot to grab. <coughs> I'm I'm more inclined to buy a box set. If it's a movie I want, plus some other movies. Because that's like value yeah. added to me. I bought this box set, Savage Guns, with uh, four of the Apocalypse, the Lucio Fulci film. 
uh, which I saw. Oh, yeah. I've already know. I've seen. I liked it. It's one of my favorite westerns, and I've been waiting for forever to get a goddamn Blu-ray <laughs> release. And it's been stranded on Anchor Bay DVD land yeah, since uh, 2005 DVD. when it went out of print. <laughs> it's been out of print since like 2005. Actually, <laughs> I have that with like the Blue Underground like three western DVD set. I oh yes, like, they did westerns. repress it. I, you, I stand corrected. They did repress it yeah. eventually, but it's in those. Yeah, I have a three. I have that three pack, but it's the action film three pack. So. Oh, this still looks so good. <laughs> the DVDs are right, yeah. I mean, sometimes yeah, I still have DVDs that... in a collection. Like I don't know. Like sometimes yeah, it's sometimes all like the DVDs, I um, I'm almost like the Blu-ray will kind of um, they'll it'll demux it up a little too much for me, and they'll get that glassy, waxy look to it. Um, there's been a few where I'm like, oh wow, this looks terrible, but then thankfully a label usually puts a good one out. I, I mean, if uh... it's out. I'm not the biggest fan of like DVD the format because it just butchers the image, and you have to do it's weird things to make so the image look. Too. Well, yeah, well, not only that, the durability yeah. of the format aside, which is my biggest reason why I don't like DVD. Yeah. But like the fact that it's like twenty nine nine four frames means there's like additional drop frames or drop frames in the case of uh, uh, foreign releases, and like it's just it's not good, yo. Yeah, it's brutal. It, it yeah, does not look not, good. Not, everyone's like, oh, DVDs are the best. I'm like, shut the fuck up. I can take a Blu-ray. I'm not going to run around the, the parking lot with it on a string. I can take it, dust it off, put it in my player. It's going to fucking play. Yeah, I can't do that with a Blu-ray. <laughs> a, Blu a DVD, I drop it on the ground, and it's fucking fucked forever. Forever. Oh, dude, I never even took out the case. I dropped the case. Of it. <laughs> it popped off the hub, and now it's fucked forever, and I can never watch it. And I never even got to open the case. Like, that's yep. that DVD. I yeah. I'm done buying so good, huh? I'm, I'm done buying DVD. I bought the only DVDs I buy at this point are sh time. shot on video films because they seem to be the only thing still released on like regularly on that DVD. That makes sense too. Quality wise, that makes really good sense. That makes the best sense. I much rather I much I much rather I much rather have the vinegar syndrome format of putting blue, uh, the video transfers on Blu ray discs. Still an SD, yeah, but, beautiful. but just a higher quality, like more protected content. You know, isn't it great when Vinegar Syndrome land on a title that is on your bucket list? And you're like, oh god, yeah. finally, thank in fact, you, thank you, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. my, we used to do a pickup section. Feeling in the world. We used to do a pickup section. That's why I grabbed a bunch of these things. But literally, thank that's you. why I bought this it's set right here. <laughs> this is the Vinegar Syndrome Lost Picture Show, and I literally bought it. By the way, look at this. Look at this. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at that. And it said, for this movie right here, Voodoo oh. Heartbeat. This movie was considered lost. <laughs> it was considered lost. That's amazing. And at least all were considered lost at one point. That's the I one love when set. people rescue films. Oh, Look actually, how beautiful that already... looks with the print, with the newspaper print, the grindhouse print. I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's so great. It's beautiful. Oh, we got Wouldn't you like, like a shirt like that? I want a Hawaiian shirt like oh. that with just all that on it. I'm sure somebody makes shirts like that. It comes with Ryan two Blu-ray cases with slipcovers and two wow. booklets. So. Well, you really have to unpack that thing to get everything out. Yeah, that is the problem, <laughs> I think. Undressing a, undressing a wonderful... I mean, you can just put this uh, on your date. shelf. It comes with two, two <laughs> DVD cases like this. You can just put this on your shelf if you wanted. That's what I do with my uh, Giallo box sets they, they put out. Yeah. Mine are on top in, in a row. They're so terrible. Oh. They're just the worst giallos ever, but I really love them. Because Phantom so or Voodoo Heartbeat. I have been looking, wanting to see this movie for forever. So what's it about? The funny thing is, I didn't even what's know it about. I, uh, it's, I, hmm, what is it about? How do I even begin to describe? <laughs> right. I'll watch let me, the let me go, let me go look on, let me, <laughs> let me see what the internet has to say about it. I'm, I'm not very good at describing movies without spoiling. So, yeah, on. that's okay. Voodoo. I, Vinegar Syndrome are so great about their trailers now, too. They, they preserve the Sex Serum of Dr. Blake is called, by the way. It's, um, yeah. It just says, Previously lost exploitation film, it's been sex and violence on piles of heart-ripping orgies, blood-drinking, boat chases, and much more. Hold on, let's see here. <laughs> I love that they put the orgies first. That's, uh, that's Vinegar here. Syndrome for you. The monster movie like, orgies, has a magic... Then all the rest. Okay, so it's... The monster movie as a magic-induced dose of vampirism oh. cloaked in 70s nowhere America. Mostly uninteresting and strangely over-erotic, but it's got w that look that these vinegar syndrome scans can greatly boost forward and advocate for. 
Plus, it got a speedboat nice. chase with the, with the last frame of the steam. Oh, what? Oh, hold on, where'd it go? Uh, it's got a speedboat chase with the, a last frame that seems uncannily unplanned for its relation to whatever sort of voodoo narrative it, 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 it tries to stitch in. So, it could be worse. Yeah. yeah. Um, it doesn't have great reviews, but it's just a movie I've, I, I read about, I don't know, two decades ago as existing at some point. And I was like, this is Nowhere fascinating. In America, Nowhere in America is such a great description. That's almost, that should be a movie title. <laughs> Nowhere in America. I'm sure it is somewhere. It <laughs> now that I've said it, it's it probably a town somewhere. called Nowhere you can go. It's so weird how Vinegar Syndrome are now the Scream Factory. <clears throat> They've taken over where Scream Factory died. I mean, they're doing better work than just Scream Factory every day, ever did, ever did. Scream Factory, I'm like, I swear to God, now that Cliff left and the other guy's by himself, they, they remind me, they're like Code Red. Or, no, they're like Scorpion. They're like Scorpion releasing or Ronan or one of them guys that were on the off skirts. Yeah, they, yeah. They were doing good, but they weren't doing good very often. And then when they did release something, you were like, eh. Like, Screen Factory are almost, like, alongside Dark Force. Where they're like, here's a 4K that randomly we're putting out. And everyone's like, huh. <laughs> and then occasionally a DVD release, and you're like, okay. And that's kind of what Scream are doing, whereas, like, Criterion are like, every month, they're like, here's some masterpieces. And you're just like, whoa. Oh, and, and here's then some then movies that make you question why, why they're wrong. in the Criterion collection also. You get masterpieces in movies oh, yeah. that make you go, really? Okay. Yeah, like I, I was genuinely so at this point look Pinocchio. I yeah, I genuinely uh, and Wally yeah. was a shock too. I genuinely genuinely expect yeah, fucking Mac and me in there any day now. <laughs> that would be that would be something that they would almost do like to troll people. They would just put a box set out of all of his films because that director has made other sort of fringy movies. So that feels I like some of the vinegar would definitely do though. Yeah, yeah. See, that's where they're like Screen Factor were doing that, and they were talking about all their restorations, and they would dump all this info about their extra features, and now Vinegar Syndrome do that. They almost just overload me, uh, me as a fan, like as a collector, because mm -hmm. I'm like, there's so much, and some of it's familiar, some of it I want, some of it I have no clue what it is, and I don't know if I want it. And I've bought a few where I'm kind of like, oh, I can't believe I got this. Why did I buy this? They changed my but, dashboard you know, again. Easily flippable, so that's what I love about Vinegar Syndrome. They're very popular. Easily flippable? <laughs> yep, Vinegar Syndrome are the most easily flippable besides Code Red and Screen Factory. They have, they have they have slip covers that are limited stuff. edition, so that's the easiest thing if you got yes. to pre-order one. Those are the ones that are flippable. Let me correct myself. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, they have to have the slip covers mm -hmm. and be in a brand new condition because vinegar syndrome collectors, unless they don't care, <sighs> they would buy any version, but not for a good price. That's what hurts. I'm so annoyed. Everything's gone up. I'm so annoyed. I was supposed to get a soda with my dinner, and the fucking place like forgot to send it. <sighs> I was looking That's forward awful. to that soda. I was looking so. The thing is, is the thing is, is like the meal was mediocre, and I didn't even get my soda, and it's just like, fuck, why? That's like the oh, that's God. the slap in the face. Please, like you say please, it's <laughs> getting late. I beg yeah. of you, sir. Um, I had a McDonald's Happy Meal earlier. I regret it. So what was that, much. Dustin? I said I don't care like, how late it gets. I'll get some. Okay. <laughs> anyway, sorry. <laughs> The cursed uh, meal, yep. Yeah. That's kind of the thing, too. Like, we would talk about food on Cathode Ray, and everyone would have issues with food. There was always issues with food. But, you know, a bunch of bachelors, so that made sense. Yeah, I, I actually was wasn't a bachelor. I was in a relationship at the time. <laughs> yeah, but now we I mean, I guess I'm a bachelorette now, but... In... I guess I'm yeah. non-binary, so I'm bachelorette, but yeah. Yeah. So, Lylesburg, I miss. I don't really, I didn't really feel like I could connect. Uh, Doc, Trump I, don't became, I don't miss Doc. Trump came between <laughs> me and him. Yeah, I don't even know. Because I got really I verbally leftist around that time. 
and I was being very inflammatory with my statements and really greatly upset him. Yeah. I had a very inflammatory yeah. way about myself back then. Well, you know, I uh, that way. things changed in 2016. There's not there's an elephant in the room, and I'm not going to talk about it because it makes me sick. But you know, things changed. People's lives started becoming put on the line, literally. And yeah. I'm like, I can't trust any of these people. Like, so I'm, I I, like I woke up one day and my my all my queer friends were like fucking panicking. Uh, I didn't know because I was still in the closet. Not, yeah. I was still in the closet, so I didn't know any better. I was just like, oh, what's going on? Oh, is it really that it's bad? Terrible. Yeah, it's really that bad. It is. And yeah, it is. It is for women. It is for trans anybody people, that's, you know, not, especially, a, not a white. Especially yeah, anybody that's POC not white. trans people. People of color. They're still flashes. They're, you know, you're, you're definitely walking the edge now where you have to fight back. You have to kind of go, hey, fuck this. This, this right bullshit has gone too far right stop. Yeah. and and people didn't like being told to stop they didn't be like and i'm like look it's i'm i like i have to be a liberal now just to piss you off i'm not liberal but i'm gonna be one now just to piss you off you're not liberal. just to, i was i'd say i'm i'm more of like a anarcho social social oh, okay so we're on the same I, I far, far 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 <laughs> yeah. far Far, we're far left. left. Got it. We're, we're far so left. far left. Everyone is right. Yes. Look, man, I'm just a person. I, so like, I want free. I used to be called a libertarian in the nineties, but not anymore. Now the libertarian is racist. Yeah. yeah the racist exactly. Is not, not in, in the nineties, we were like, we want, we want, we want everybody to have equal rights. We want everybody to be free. We want. Basically, we were hippies, but we were early. We were like grunge hippies. Hippies were all turn in. We were we were industrial hippies. We were into industrial music, and we hated the government. We hated the system. We hated the patriarchy. We were so full of hate. That was our anthem. That was our anthem in the 90s. We were angry, and we hated everything and everybody. But we wanted you to be free and have all the drugs you wanted and make and make a decent wage. Look, I don't. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a libertarian, but I, uh, from the 90s, but I support that shit. That sounds. That's like, gone. Like That's all that. Gone now. Like, Oh yeah, it's, it's all been long gone. Into the long liberal. Gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like that literally is what just a liberal is. <laughs> That's just what a normal liberal is basically nowadays. Yeah. But back then, I was all about freedom I'm for everybody. But now I'm like, some not weird anymore. Socialist freak. I'm a socialist and, in my and politics and socialist in my relationships. It destroyed cathode ray transmissions at its core. At its core. Yeah, because it broke I a friend group I in half. You know? Trust. I couldn't trust half of the six or seven we rolled with. I couldn't trust like that seven or eight so of the cool. ten people that were there. Okay, you get me? Yes. There were yeah. three people, oh, and, were... and on top of it, on top of it, I'm fucking positive the two people I knew I could trust were still talking shit about me. <laughs> it's insane because I was always, you know what? It was the hilarious when we'd shut off and someone would stick around after the chat, and I'd be like, "Hey, did you need to talk?" And they would. If anybody, anybody, nobody ever shit talk Bez. Nobody ever yeah, shit talk. Um, nobody ever shit talk Lylesburg. Should have. Everybody shit talked about <laughs> Doc. Everybody bitched about Doc because he didn't. He, I don't know if he knew what he was doing, or I don't know if he knew what he was doing, or if he didn't know what he was doing, or a little bit of both, and it was insane. I think was Doc insane. was an elaborate troll. I, the whole time, I was really super suspicious of that guy. I was Apparently. hoping he was trolling. It all felt like an elaborate he character he had made, which is great. Good for him. He was doing no harm at that point. Yeah, it's like that, He's yeah, that, that, that right-wing wrestling persona. That's, yeah. That's it, yeah, true. it was yeah. there. No, you're right. He really but was I mean, into the, the backyard wrestling and yeah, the, the hunky-dory-do, like, yeehaw kind of <laughs> attitude, and it, it became... Interesting. It, I didn't know that. It became that a mask, I thought. I thought, and and there was a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes, like the Confederate flag and weird ass other shit. And Mark, of course, he would. Huh. He was the one that would bitch about every single person, huh. and me. He oh, would yeah. bitch about me to me after you. the chat. He's he would no, he would bitch yeah. to my face after some, the chat. He'd be look, like, look, 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 babe, some people are born bitches. Believe. Okay, it's okay. Some people if just he need ever to bitch, started to cut, 
<laughs> if you ever started the conversation with Lauren, I can't believe, and then something. I'd be like, dude, well, you fucking <laughs> need to start believing it. You need to start believing it, Mark. Can you believe it? Real people. <laughs> he did not like. He didn't like it because I was like, dude, I'm. If you if you keep fucking with me, I'm gonna block you out of my I life. I mean, I showed up and Mark basically like, just stopped showing up because I didn't take Mark shit. Yeah. I was, was I was. Awful. Mark would say some shit and I would just be like, oh yeah, I can say some shit too. And then he would just like look at me like angry. <laughs> yeah, like I tried to give him another chance because I always give people a second always. chance. Always. That, that's yeah. it. That's it. Then that's it. Yeah. Um, that's it. Because after that, it feels depends like I'm the, going. Depends insane. on the slight, but yeah, just like a but disagreement. The I'll second give you a second chance, chance. You know. A second chance. Here's how it went. It was like a, like a one to two hour on Facebook type thing. And okay. this is 2017 or 18. And okay. it probably, I'd say it's 2018 around the time that you and I kind of, we, we kind of just separate. Well, I, I left social media at this point. Yeah. And, I then, and then I didn't pick up the, people. no one picked up the reins of, uh, I, uh, Mr. Pim pin, uh, picked up the reins for a few weeks and then just kind of fizzled out. And that was it. That yeah. Was, I, know, didn't, I didn't get invited to those. Oh, shock. I don't understand the stuff with Aaron, uh, uh, he would purposely kind of just uh, let's, oh, look, do I don't certain wanna, things. Well, I, let's, I don't want to talk about Mr. Pin. He's, uh, yeah. I don't want to, because yeah. I don't want the drama with that. We'll just, yeah. Let's yeah. not talk, exactly. shit, let's not talk I mean. drama about people who are bigger than us at present. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I just don't need, I, I just I'm don't need the harassment. I already get enough harassment, you know? Like, I don't, I just, that's, what, that, that's, that's the point I was trying to make right there. Thank you for fast forwarding to it. And 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 so all of these what you people. What you know? It's not. It's not. Hold on. It's nothing he did in this in this regard specifically. It's just once you no, get an audience no. that's too big, then right, you start having exactly. problems. That you can't that. tell anybody what to do. They're yes. going to go do a thing, right? Well, that so, also that hey yeah that then that. So I don't want any drama with it. Now. I had no. I don't care if he has a problem with me. I don't have any problems with him. I just leave it alone. It's fine. No yeah, harm, no I foul. Just, no, I, I backed away from other people who I didn't, I didn't, I weren't, I didn't get in an argument with them. I didn't get mad at them. I was just like, okay, well, we're probably not going to, we're just not going to hang out, I guess, because there's no reason to, yeah, if yeah, no yeah. one's going to talk, really. If no one's going to talk, you, it's called parting amicably, and, and that's really what most people Yeah, we didn't like have a blow up or anything, it was just like, we just stopped yeah. hanging out. With me and, with me and Mark, it, he just, he, he, I let him back in, and I was like, yeah, dude, just, if you could do me a favor, and and just just I know I'm if I I'm gonna post Rob Zombie stuff or whatever on my Facebook or if I ever bring up Rob Zombie, just try not to attack him for it. And he's like, Oh yeah. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. He, he literally was like, Sorry, man, I can't do that because I, I just hate Rob Zombie so much. And I was like, man. like are, you, are you being serious? I'm like, You being like, serious, right? How do you hate this anyone like so breaker? much? Like, other than like, I'm gonna put down the gaunt the gauntlet. The gauntlet. I mean, it's like. He's like I, if I can't make fun of you, I can't be your friend. Rob Zombie like, is likely Whoa. a shitty neighbor, but overall rather harmless, right? So it's not like it's like, oh man, we have a we like oh it's like, not like you're, you're like rooting for Donald Trump, in which case it would absolutely give you no end of shit. By the way, it was more of because just that's like, a that's someone who's harming people. Rob Zombie's out there like what, joining homo associations, getting people in yeah, trouble for violating rules. Like, like, I don't give a fuck. Was, I, I literally was just like. What, but why do why do you have to like make fun of me for liking it? And then he, he didn't respond. Because yeah, you I was called like, out the crux oh, that, of the matter. That's it. We're done. Oh, okay. He was like, "That's how it's gonna be." And I'm just like, "Whoa!" So then I blocked him. That was it. Because some people don't understand just, there's a difference so between hard. like the difference between like ribbing your friend, making fun of him a little bit. It's a funny jest. And one thing is when you completely fucking smother their joy for something. That's yeah, the difference I just didn't want to be trolled by somebody who's my friend. I just was like, yeah. you stop trolling me about that. It's like, I'll you make know, fun of you. Yeah, I might make a joke irritating. about you liking Rob Zombie, but it will not be a constant thing, and it won't be it's, the vitriol it's that you got. It was an inside joke. Right, and I would understand it was vitriol, it though. Established an inside, right, it was different. It was coming from a place of spite yes. and malice. Yes. And I was like, it's not the same thing as being sarcastic and goofy. It's not the same thing as ribbing on your friend or roasting each other. Like, you know? he, could have been, he could have just been like a bad Rob Zombie impersonation instead and be like, I'm just messing with you. And I would have laughed my ass off. But it wasn't about him. Like, it was about you great. liking Rob Zombie. Yeah. yeah. 
Exactly. I stayed in touch with Vez. I still, every once in a while, I check in I, with Vez on social media. I don't know media. what happened. Me and Vez just stopped talk, talking one day. I don't know. Well, I don't, uh, I don't I hope Vez uses well. I don't, have any, I don't have any will towards him. Yeah, Vez is not very active on social media. That's so. probably what it is. <laughs> like, yeah, that's exactly it. He's yeah. super busy with so I never. I was like, oh, okay, issues. well, whatever. People drift away sometimes, well, and you just yeah. got to respect it, you know? Amicably. Right, that was what happened with Aaron and me. It was just amicably, we stopped. And same thing with like there was like the um, horror n ninja, you know. Oh yeah, like, I remember. <laughs> we just yeah, I was like, look, man, you're moving on, you're going and doing your own thing now in life. We're just gonna stop talking. It was amicable. It was nothing. It's not personal. There was no drama. We I wish it would have been man. dramatic. It's all good. No, no, there was no drama except um, Doc. Doc kind of freaked me out. And Mark was the one that whistle blowed on, on Doc. He was like, did you see that damn Confederate flag, Lord? Did you see that goddamn Confederate flag? Damn. I, listen, damn listen. If I would have seen it too, I would have been with him on that. Because that's like, whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa, whoa. Go, Bro, we have a line review, here. I had, to, <laughs> I had to review the whole chat very carefully and look at his window. Yeah. That was through the crappy 720 DPI. <laughs> it's probably like, like 480 to be like, honest with you yeah yeah and i'm like i i can't see it i think i see it but i'm not sure and then like all of a sudden like his roommate comes by and it starts yelling something and like doc immediately mutes and yeah. i can see it then right in that moment which i was like that's awkward and then i see it i'm like oh that's really bad okay yeah so i just yeah. kind of deleted that and blocked all that and it was like that, and that was way before. That was in 2016, before I knew how bad it was going to get. Yeah, I mean, that's before any of us knew worse. how bad it was going to get. And then 20, that's before worse. 2020 yeah. when it got even worse. Everybody dug in the trenches, um, and uh, it, I, that's when it was like sort of like Horn Ninja, Boosh, Aaron, Boosh. Everyone just kind of went away, mm -hmm. and it wasn't like I don't like these people. It was just like, oh, okay, we're just not talking anymore. Yeah. Exactly. Lylesburg too. Lylesburg too. Lylesburg sort I, of was like. I oh, we had a blow up. He, I said some shit. You did that to me. Well, I was like talking. You know, I'm constantly talking shit about Trump because he was a shitbag. But he well, was like, he was constantly trying to tell me like to keep politics out of it, and I was like, why? It's affecting my life. Yeah. Like, why is he telling you what to do about yeah. anything? Yeah. Ever. Anyway, it, I just wish it, him well. It, I hope he's all right. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I don't but have that no was well like. It was that was that was exactly my falling out with him. I was like, okay, I guess we're done because cool. of an impasse politically that you're just gonna constantly come at. People me. grow in different directions. I, I Sometimes they do don't head the same me. direction, and you just gotta respect it. But like, all right, dude, cool. Glad you're I having had, a problem. I was, I was a member of Narcotics Anonymous for decades, What's and that? during it's just it's like AA, but oh, it's for okay. drug addiction, NA, and and. I'm I'm pr I'm proud to say I'm like I'm a recovering dr drug addict, but I met this crazy biker, who had decades clean like not decades but he had like a little bit under me you know like ten years or so, mm -hmm. and, and working on me. and that dude, went psychotic psycho on me and threatened me, when he saw my anti Trump shit, and this was <laughs> a guy who was like talking about spirituality and love uh -huh. and we're all brothers uh -huh. and we got to save the addict and. He wanted me to be a sponsor at one point, and and this guy went psycho fascist. Like I'm gonna kill you if I ever see you at another meeting, and I'm like, and I never went back to NA because I'm like, oh, there's red, there's there's um skinheads in, in NA. Well, and you and were so NA. Like, I don't I know about for... yeah. it. Well, yeah, I realized, but yeah. people were protecting him. We have to be careful about we say that, like you know, like I, I don't want to get. It's just too. insane. Alleged. It was. Alleged. It was. I mean, well, the, we, the, they, yeah. Well, it's. It's just an anecdote between me and this alleged person. So I could yes. be making it up. But alleged my, person, the point yes. is, yeah, my my clever anecdote about a Trump troll. No, this was scary shit. This was an example on Facebook where I was like, I have to leave Facebook. And I left. I left Facebook in 2018. Yeah, in 2018. I, 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 I too. Yeah. I lost family members. Thanks. I had a gay cousin. I had a gay cousin in Florida who voted for DeSantis and what? votes for Trump. And 
and she hates herself and she hates her life. That is, and, I can't. And I have another gay cousin and, and also in Florida and he's always been Republican ever since I've known him in the eight, since, since Reagan. When he could first vote when he was 18, he voted for Reagan. Like, and, that's like... Uh, I've never got... He, they're self-loathing and I don't understand their self-hatred. It's like, she has a body dysmorphia, so I kind of dismiss it, and she's not educated well. He is brilliant. He designs traffic for, like, Central Florida. He designs the traffic, how it flows. Yeah, yeah, I get it. How it works. And it's a, he makes a ton of money. And he's just super brilliant, and he just hates gay people. And he's gay. And he lives with a man who's, like, from Panama or somewhere. And it's just ridiculous, like how abusive their relationship is and baffling i just it just got worse and worse though kinds, over man. just the last over just the last six years though it got to the point where i was like i can never talk to these people again i mean i and there are people my like I'm, i haven't talked to them since october november brutal november yeah i mean i moved out in october i'm out i'm gone i'm free i'm never never ever 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 ever, ever going back that's so great. We'll never go back so because freedom. I spent it's nine freedom. years being dead named and uh, and hearing their transphobic rants and shit and yeah, never being taken seriously name, as a please, person. Please and I'm immediately like, point it out to me if I ever dead name. Just because it's, you know what I mean? It's been just so long. Just call me Skinsel if you're not sure. Otherwise, the Valeria is fine. Val, I like you saying Val. Val. I say Val. That's Val what I say in my head, so... I that hate that my subconscious tries to bring out like my old name, because Lauren has always been my name, but people always tried to call me by my dead name, and it. And I that didn't was even know that wasn't ago. your real name, so or your excuse me, your birth name, I should say, not your real it, name. It, it is, is your real name. name. It's not your. It is your proper name, and it's as real as all the yes. other names. There we go. I, I did yeah, not mean to be this dismissive. Yeah, isn't it? And it's crazy how there's people. Wait, still wait, hold on. Day. Does your does your dead name start with an M? No. Okay, no. then I don't remember. I don't, then I'm thinking something else. I, I'll fine. just tell you. It's no, it's no, 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 no. Don't tell me. Don't. I didn't hear it. My family. Nope. Yeah, my family still does it. I don't care. My no family. All my family still do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's awful. They all still, of them. They still Even call me by the B that, name, too. I don't like it. It's They just don't understand. And it's just, yeah. So, you know, Cathodre was a really noble idea. But I don't think it was ever going to work with what was coming down the road. So it's, it was never working the way I think it was originally envisioned to just a place where people can come. You get... It seemed it was working. Mm. Like other people took it over, and I'm like, see, it's working. But it's, <laughs> it's one thing; it's spreading. But it, it's not really. <laughs> yeah, it really imploded hard because of the concept. No one else seemed like willing to even try. I was just too fucking busy suffering to like even think and about you doing, it. You were doing your own thing, and I watched. I was, that I was suffering under the weight of constantly. my own dysphoria that was just crushing me at that point. And I came, yeah, I came out the next year in 2019. So like you know, that and I was, I was, I was there lurking, watching on Facebook, and I started lurking. transitioning I just in 2020. <laughs> Yeah, I remember the dresses and me being like, okay, here we go. I'm, I'm going to be proud about this. And I'm like, I'm going to put a love on that. Oh, yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm going to put a love comment right on that. Cause, I don't, none of those like, dresses fit me anymore. Like I, have to get, I have to get new dresses. That's my current struggles. When summer, summer comes around, I'm going to go to thrift stores and get some, start getting new clothes. Right? I used to do that when I was cross-dressing in the 90s. Oh, my God. I loved, loved wearing ugly dresses from the 70s. Those big, thick, bad print all over them. Polyester dresses. Nice and thick, so they kind of hid my lumps. <laughs> Lauren likes them thick. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. The, I, I, yeah, I wanted Look, to be an ugly... They call them love handles the way I love to the, hold them. All right? Yeah. I tried, to, Sorry. I, I tried to be the ugliest woman I could be. I tried, and the more I tried, the more trans I, I made. Try. Ho ho ho! Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Boom! Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. I'm. I. I I'd love to just cross press again because it would. It would give my family 
a lot more power, a lot more uh, love, support. They would understand my immediate family. I'm talking about my immediate family, like my my kid and my partner. Like they, we are all in it together. <laughs> we are in a tank, and we are fighting back against people like Putin. Just psychologically, we're we're all in this together. So yeah, media. We got sidetracked there. Well, no, it ties into all that because what I've been doing is I've been gaming a lot more. Um, I even oh, yeah? streamed a bunch with Death Future Three Thousand. There's oh, a bunch cool. of I did a bunch of Twitch streams and I uploaded them to my YouTube. But then like, oh god, my Xbox started dying. My headset started dying. Yeah. I eventually had to get Xbox X, and I just was so pissed. But I'm like, I need to go to 4K anyway, so I'll just get that and it'll up up upscale all my stupid Blu-rays. I'm going blind anyway, who cares? Oh, <laughs> but then now everything is going digital. Like Best Buy got rid of all their physical releases. Mm -hmm. There's a thousand add-on like a la carte streaming things now. They want you to not now. own anything. It's a, it's a, it's a. Yeah, like all the companies at one time are moving towards the model where you don't even own your games. You're renting your games for the monthly. Thing. Xbox just said they they totally got rid of their entire physical <coughs> um release division. Xbox got rid of their entire like that just happened yesterday or today. Xbox got rid of all of their physical division. The people that handle everything they release physically. And I'm like, I just bought RoboCop digitally for like 29 <laughs> bucks. And I'm like, I could see Sony or Orion Pictures or any IP holder suddenly saying, no, Microsoft can't have this anymore. They're connected to a company we're in competition with. Yeah. So you can't have a RoboCop game anymore. Because yep. anytime I get an IP game, it does the license does expire. Mm -hmm. Like the Aliens games, yep, if yep. you get those digitally. No, Transformers nope. Devastation. <laughs> By the way, it's the reason why Transformers Devastation remains installed on my hard drive today. Because I refuse to, if yes. I don't install it, it goes away. Same with all the Ninja Turtles. Uh, Sanctum of Slime. I have Ghostbusters Sanctum of Slime installed because you can't get that anymore. Oh my god, there's so it. many gamers that are so, like, freaking yeah. out listening to us right now. No, no one gives a shit about the games game. I've saved. No one cares about Sanctum Some of Slime. Some these people do. Oh, <laughs> some of these gamers No, that game did not sell well. Especially if you can't get it physically. You or if you have to get oh, it physically. It's on the uh, older console, I think. Hundreds of dollars. It's on, it's, on the, it's, on the, it's on the Wii, I think, or Wii U. Yeah. Yeah. So I do, do you subscribe to like Criterion Channel? Their uh, app? So between me and Justin, I have access to uh, Shudder, Criterion, Disney+, Plus, Netflix, Paramount+, Plus, and Peacock. And of course, Tubi. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. Justin yeah, Tubi. You got to count Tubi. Justin does a bunch of streaming services. Um, we uh, I I subscribe to at present uh, Netflix, um, uh, Shutter. I pay for half of uh, Disney Plus and and I did pay for half of Hulu until recently when they started doing the location thing. Where you oh had yeah. To, like, confirm that you were in the same house as the other. I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'm not paying for this anymore. That was the most expensive one. That was uh, that was like eighty dollars total. So I was paying half of that. So it was costing me like fifty dollars a month for Hulu, with the streaming package plus the live TV package, just so I could watch a, a Turner movie, classic movies, and then I never watched them. So I was like, "Why the fuck am I paying this?" And I decided to use that money to buy Voodoo Heartbeat on Blu-ray. Yep, exactly, exactly. I think we have <laughs> we have uh, Amazon Prime, and with it comes like sh this Shutter deal, AMC Shutter deal. For four dollars a month extra, so that that's a pretty good deal. And then we get um, Peacock. Uh, right now we have Paramount Plus for like three months on a deal thing. It'll expire, mm -hmm. I think, in a month. And then we have Netflix. We have. I'm cutting Netflix yeah. in, in before that's 2025. <laughs> like I wanted to keep going. Their, oh no, w we do have Hulu. We do have WWE Hulu. WWE is it. moving to Netflix in 2025, and I. I have no interest in giving money to WWE because they still have that Saudi deal. Yeah. Oh God. We're yeah. I don't even want it. It's just one of many reasons. I watch to be AEW horrified anyway. by them right now. Horrified right now by the WWE. Mm -hmm. Every time I want to love them, I'm like, oh, they did something that makes me hate them. Their you products are really is... good on TV, but I can't bother to watch it because 
they st- one Vince McMahon's uh. finally is is gone as of today. He's completely gone from the company as of today. Um, yep. But like, I, I it's either still have the Saudi deal. I can't can't do it, man. That, it's just gone too. I can't. It's yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna try some other wrestling. Uh, Kind of AEW, programs. AEW wrestling yep. is my favorite thing right now. Yep. Absolutely, yep. Love I'm gonna it. start getting into that. I'm gonna start getting into that for the first time ever. Well, I'm not ever. I've probably seen a lot of the stuff here and there. But yeah, I was just looking at all the DVDs I used to own that I burned. I still have um, a bunch of, of all wrestling the w- DVDs. Huh. Yeah, all the WWE <laughs> stuff I have. Oh, they all recently the stopped Hogan, doing physical media too. WWE. That's why I kept that. That's why I kept all that stuff. I burned it to pack it up because the DVDs used to get scratched, broken when they'd go in and out of the spindles. They were stackers sometimes. I've got they a bunch of like, I've got like a bunch of Chikara stuff. I got I think I think I have hopefuls of the SMW DVDs are all quite rare. Oh yeah. Oh my god, yeah. That's all that stuff's expensive now. The yeah. toys are super expensive. It's crazy. I got the. I have bought my first wrestling figure in 20 years, and was an Eddie Kingston limited edition covered in blood. So, so I probably won't be buying another goddamn game uh, figure for a long time. We should do an an in memoriam. So we lost Rucker Howard, Roddy Piper, all these actors that since we did. Yeah, we lost a lot of them. I mean, I don't know. I don't like doing in memoriam. So many. I don't really like doing in memoriam things. It's like a bummer. What do you mean? Like, I meant like. In terms of our collections, like these people that have like such a huge chunk of our collections <laughs> dedicated to a lot of these, I mean, a lot like, of these people. Jackie Chan is an dr- actor who is still alive, but I mean, I have uh, the most movies with the Jackie Chan in them at twenty five, and um, like wow, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, that's, that's a, a lot. lot. <laughs> and I got like uh, I think amazing. I got like seventeen John Carpenter films. I gotta go look. Oh, that's a lot too. John Carpenter's getting old. But they've put so much of his work out. Yeah, All his work. Fourteen out movies. Out. John Carpenter's fourteen movies. Uh, my very first release was the Stargate Flipper Disc from nineteen ninety eight. I have seven different editions of Night of Living Dead. It's the most, my most copies of one movie. <laughs> special features. I at it's all Donald always different special features, you know. And then I have a colorized one because it's got. Like, I have it signed by Mike Nelson and it's got the Rift Tracks track on it. Oh my god, that's the one John Russo tried to make that extra money on to pay his house payment. I remember he's like, I- I'm gonna colorize it. <laughs> yep, and uh, I bought it from Mike payment. Nelson at a convention signed. So that's cool. I'm glad that they were that they all the the, the cast and the people that worked out were like, it's okay if he colors it. Oh, hey, guess what time it is? It is time for our show to be up. Yeah, we were only gonna do about an hour. Uh, just because it's yeah. this week, it's in the middle of I have it's movie night, so we have to get a right bonus on. movie night with Justin, and so I like to get to get the movies. And so, uh, thank yep. you for joining me. I I look forward to doing this on a more regular basis. Uh, maybe yeah. your oh, camera work next time. Who knows? Yeah, that was so weird. I only gives, I'm still pushing it, and it's only gives me. I'm gonna take a screenshot so I can show you. No, I believe you. <laughs> you I totally believe you. I yeah. Discord's weird. It's Make so sure you update your program. Um, yep, I'm gonna. And then um, I'm gonna figure it out. Maybe it'll work next week. Right on. All right, really good well, t- catching up me. with you, dude. And I hope you uh, have a lovely week, and I'll see you next week. Yeah, I can show off some releases.